Hi guys, welcome back to the second episode of Raihan's Diaries. Some of you might already know me, but let me just reintroduce myself. My name is Raihan Wangji, and I am a fourth-year student at Sina Karin Virod University, majoring in German English language for communication. I decided to attend a two-month language short course in Berlin to strengthen my German speaking skill. I would like to share my experience and introduce Berlin from my perspective. In this video, I would like to address about my school life, such as how I spend my days, what I've learned, and how I travel to school. Now let's get started. Normally, my class started from 9 a.m. to 12:30 p.m. And fortunately, my apartment was only 15 minutes away from language school. Within walking distance, so I didn't have to rush in the morning. I could easily walk or take a tram to school because its station located right in front of the apartment. Both were fine for me, depending on my mood in that moment. Sometimes I just wanted to take an easy walk while listening to music, sliding through the city with local people. But when I was too lazy. To waste my energy, or the weather got gloomy, I always managed to get the tram, which is more convenient. The language lessons here in Berlin prioritized in class participating. The native teachers did not instruct only grammar part, but always gave out the topic, then made all students express their opinion and discuss with each other to make them get accustomed to speaking in a certain situation. Which would help them with real life conversation. All my classmates come from different countries, but when we gather in the class, we were only allowed to speak in German, which was a great condition to practice speaking. My speaking skill was getting better because of the compulsive condition that gave me a chance to speak German daily, in particular in class discussion, conversation with my host family, ordering food, and so on. After the class end, I always eat out with my friends around the school, since it located around city center. There are so many multinational restaurant options to choose. And then after we finish our lunch, we try to find new places to go in Berlin. Which mostly were attractions, museums, malls, and pubs, with wide range of transportation such as U-Bahn, S-Bahn, tram, and bus that have many routes and well arranged connection. We could reach any place easily, and that's how I spend my weekdays in Berlin. I hope you enjoy, and we'll see each other again in the next video. Bye.